Sure. This is how Gamza is built. <laughs> Here, this is about as close as Gamza is built. Damn! About mm, four feet wide, four feet tall. What is all of this? Wait, what is this? This looks so weird. Dude, this is some strange shit. Dude, what is turned into... What is Roblox? All right, I'm going to take a look at Hypocrite Artist Gets Exposed. Damn, you gives a... Hey, what's up, guys? We're here. So today we're going to look at oh, more shit. examples of people virtue signaling over fictional content. But on top of that, I'm going to provide some absolutely wild updates regarding the previous up, two guys? videos I've uploaded on this channel. Now, a few days ago, I recorded those two videos together. Just a little anime girl right here. Just want to talk to you for a bit. Together. And at the time, I didn't realize that they were connected. The main person sparking the controversy behind those two videos was the same person named Kenny. This is an artist who has made multiple rage bait posts causing all kinds of issues and discourse on Twitter. Now, we're going to do a deep dive into this person and... Gamza, you're built like a Lego piece. Is that a legit piece? <laughs> you dirty bastard! <laughs> oh, you dirty bastard! Hey, wait, look at... Hey! What, the, what is that? Was that is supposed to be a banana or a hand? What is that? How dare you! How dare you? Give some updates on the related situation because <laughs> these developments are absolutely crazy. So, what happened? So, the first video Potassium. was one that I released yesterday. This artist made a post complaining about Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, and they went on to call people all, all kinds of terrible things over fictional content. And in okay. that video, I shared the fact that they have retweeted and created art that depicts underage characters, making them a hypocrite in this thread. And on top of that, two days ago, I made this video, which was intended for my old channel, as a very quick video where I talked about this character, this. Japanese mascot named Cheetan, who is very popular on Twitter, and artists have recently started making artwork based on this mascot, and this post would go viral. However, people were very angry about it too. And in my coverage, this of is the what you guys are into. I referred to, but didn't actually show one of the main tweets that caused this whole situation. Dude, there's so many people that are into like these uh, muscular tomboy girls. Situation, and lo and behold, looking back at the screenshots, who made that tweet that started this whole controversy? The artist Kenny once again. And they have since deleted their tweet, but of course, I have the fastest screenshots in the West. So I was able to get this before the tweet was actually taken down. So here is the original quote from this artist saying this. I mean this in the nicest way possible. Can we not do See this? See Frank. And this tweet would get nearly 200,000 likes, shaming this artist for this post right here. So basically, it's a very sad situation, right? You have an artist telling another artist to not make art because that art makes them uncomfortable. And it's already frustrating enough to see a bunch of Twitter users attacking artists over their work, but it's even more frustrating to see an artist doing this to another artist, where they clearly have no respect for artistic freedom. If you don't like what they're drawing, ignore it. That is their right as an artist to make artwork like this. And just because it's not your thing doesn't give you an excuse. You like it too, Gamza. Oh shit, can I even type this in? Jinx, art. Hey, now we're cooking with gas. This is much better. I don't, I don't want any of that, that. What is, what is, what the hell is this shit? Oh, I'm out of here. Anyways, let's continue. To go after them or tell them what they can or can't do with their art. But in the replies, Kenny would add some further opinion on the matter saying, not every single thing needs to be sexualized. If you make the, it's the internet excuse, genuinely, you are a effing loser. Now, remember, when they started this thread, they said... But if it was the dude all sweaty and moist, I bet you they wouldn't have a problem with that, would they? I want to say this in the nicest way. And then in the replies, they call this artist and anyone who supports them a effing loser. Now, there is blatant hypocrisy. So in my previous videos, I had mentioned this is a not safe for work artist. And people in the quotes and replies were posting a lot of their work saying... How are you the one virtue signaling about sexualizing characters and things like that? It makes you a massive hypocrite. In fact, this one in particular is the funniest example. So they made this artwork based on the cover of the song Plastic Love. Hey, this song talking. in the cover art has gone viral many times. And a lot of artists have made artwork based on this what cover. The hell? And they did just that by giving her larger breasts. So this person's crying about artwork based on a Japanese mascot. But they're doing this artwork to a real person. And they don't understand how they are a hypocrite in this situation. It's absolutely wild. The hypocrisy in this situation is so blatant, it almost seems scripted. Like, this whole thing seems too good to be true. 
too ironic. Like they're they're doing all this ironically just to get I don't know rage bait out of people. I don't know, but it, it's it's absolutely zero self awareness as you can see. And things would get even crazier when users would dig even deeper into this artist's portfolio, even deeper than I went in my previous video. Dude, what is this found garbage? Some concerning art, where in this case you have his OC in a self insert situation getting some handwork from a fourteen year old character. His now this OC? individual, the artist we're talking about. What is OC? I don't know. Has come out and called people predators over Lollicon and other fictional content. And yet, here they are in a self-insert artwork with a 14-year-old character. Dude, and these they people don't are understand cringe, why man. people are criticizing them for Original this. Original They character. don't understand why this makes them a hypocrite. There's zero self-awareness, like I said. And Orange eventually, County. a lot of people started bringing all these facts oh, up see, in the replies, original character. and they clearly okay. got upset original about this, content. adding okay. further replies to the original thread saying, y'all can shut up now. Unfortunately, a banger, say what y'all want about my art, but if y'all ain't got no problem with this kind of art being the result of a literal baby river otter... Oh shit, there's a word, literal. That's cool with me, just don't bring up the art I make of adults, which obviously this part is a lie. We have pointed out multiple occasions in this video and my previous video where they were making artwork... Original character, imagine your comics or gams are drawn was drawn, dude, gross. Featuring underage Nasty. characters being sexualized. Go ahead and ban Crossfire. on top of that, this line about a literal baby river otter. Yeah, literal. Do you actually believe that this is a literal baby river otter? <laughs> if you do, you need to get checked out because that is not normal. If you're confusing this with a literal otter, it's like you have up trash to something? work on, okay? And once again, Twitter just not understanding what the word literal means, but that's not too surprising. However, yeah. people were going with this argument. Remember, Trump is a literal Austrian painter. There were multiple viral tweets making statements like this. This individual quoting another person who made Cheetan related art, showing a screenshot that says the character is zero years old and it's a fairy baby. 37,000 likes on this. People actually think there's an issue here with this mascot having art based on it. It's crazy. And if you wanna know just how crazy the people making these- You need to do better, Gamza. Give me some tips, dude. Claims are, as this user points out, the person behind that last tweet is a 16 year old in a polyamorous relationship with seven people. What? That is the person- Wait, hold up, wait, hold up. I know a youngling who somehow ended up in a seven person polycule at 16. Not out here, dude, what? Trying to be the, the normal person in this situation and calling out these artists. It's absolutely crazy. This is another reminder why minors should not be on the internet because this is what happens. They complain about uh, art of anime characters and, they're, and they end up in a polyamorous relationship with seven people. It's absolutely crazy. On top of that- That we, is disgusting. You would see Kenny, the artist, retweet someone else pointing this out and saying, please don't make art of this literal zero-year-old fairy baby. They're actually support. Did he actually use the word stop art? Reporting tweets like okay. that. And of course, once things kept getting worse, I didn't see the, the word criticism literal. kept rolling in, they would try to play the victim by saying they're getting death threats and getting harassed over a cartoon otter. Ah, interesting. It's no longer a literal <laughs> otter. It's a cartoon otter now because oh, shit. that fits your agenda of playing the victim in this situation. Literally. Which is ironic because they're complaining about being harassed more appropriately labeled, criticized over this otter situation when they're the ones who started this entire situation by harassing people over making artwork about this character. It's uh, zero <laughs> self-awareness. I've said it now three times, zero self-awareness. And eventually they would go private. They would delete their tweet, oh, go of private course. for a little bit, and they would go on to their alternate account. You can see they have another account right here, basically the same name, just an underscore added. And of course, on that account, they are also retweeting underage characters being sexualized. There's no surprise there. But on top of that, they would get a new strategy. They would not play just the victim. They would also try to slander and harass the artist who made the Cheetan artwork that they were complaining about on their main account, taking a screenshot here and saying, letting it be known that the Cheetan person was racist, and yet I was the one getting harassed. And their proof is that artist making artwork of the character Hestia. And for context, there was a situation where people were com comparing the designs of Hestia from Dan Machi versus Hestia from Hades 2. And basically this is a mashup of those two characters, the one from the anime wearing the outfit of the one from Hades 2. Somehow this is an act of racism. Obviously things are getting pretty desperate when they're doing something like this. They try playing the victim, they try playing the, uh, the morally superior person, the morally superior artist, and now they're trying to play the aggressor labeling people as racist over Dan Machi art. It's absolutely- So stupid. Uh, oh, wait, are you talking, are you talking about the one with the buttermilk bob? 
Evo Bluetooth? Or are you talking about the one that I, I entered uh, the stream with? I'm not sure which one you're talking about. Really crazy, just give it up. But of course, they wouldn't. So they would make some further replies, <laughs> clearly getting very upset. I hate anime, I hate anime. For getting community noted and mocked on Twitter for their post, where they would quote them saying, genuine to honest God, I'm game ending myself if one of you people open your mouth with a effing opinion again. Which is ironic because all of this started because you shared your opinion and it was bad and people criticized you very fairly and point out that you're a hypocrite on the related subjects. And once again, as I always ask artists like this, did this controversy and all of these likes you got and the attention, did this increase the amount of commissions you're getting? No, it didn't. All it did was bring in stress and people calling you a hypocrite. There's literally no winning with this stuff. It's pointless. It has nothing to do with your career as an artist and it's a waste of everyone's time. And they would get even more aggressive with another post that is limited in visibility because it might violate X's rules against hateful conduct where they make mm -hmm. this subtweet directed at who knows saying how it feels to kill people you don't like. Uh, that seems like a very extreme thing to say in response to uh, artwork about I'll, I'll tell you what, I've worked with a lot of artists, and I have to say that um, most of them are very spurgy. They, uh, I feel like, it feels like a lot of the artists are kind of like on a hair trigger. And they kind of just spurg out. They get hyper emotional. They get very upset about certain subjects. I, I don't know what the term would be other than like they just kind of spurg out. It's weird. But I do notice that from a lot of artists. It's like, hey, hey, calm down. One wrong thing will happen or something will set them off. And it just turns into like the sky is falling. How would how would bro know it's actually quite sad? Hmm? In art school, I learned a lot of other artists get jealous and envious of others. Yeah, I don't. They they seem to be a lot more emotional than people. Maybe it's part of like that creative brain. I've seen artists that produce really good shit, and that they're so insecure about what they're producing, and they're like, I just feel like this isn't good enough. And I'm like, dude, looks pretty damn good to me. But you know. When people like that, it's like they're, they're so on the edge already. You can't help them. They have to kind of like come to terms with themselves. How it feels, what the artist drew. Hmm? Now I'm more confused. Like, what, how does it feel to draw that stuff? Or what are you, what are you saying? All right, dude, I think we reacted to everything today. Damn, that's crazy.